What is up YouTube, Mark here. Hopefully you've been doing great so far in farming the Loyalties Requiem event. I'll be sharing with you what I think are three of the most important things you should keep in mind to survive high level raids. As you can see, my might is below the recommended value for this raid and we'll be letting our teammates do most of the damage, but with some skill and by following basic principles of battle we'll be able to survive longer and even contribute a decent amount of damage to the raid instead of just being a burden to the team. Now on to the first tip, it's to be prepared. Now I know, I know, it's quite obvious but you will be surprised at how many people join a raid and once you see their equipment and setup only find out that they're not really fully prepared for the raid. And by that, I mean making sure that the proper elemental bane is equipped, that you have the uh, recommended worm prints for the event. They are usually given out for free during the uh, event period. And most importantly, making sure that you already have three skills for your equipped hero. You'll see later why this is such an important thing to get before getting into any high level raid. Now I already have low might as it is so every bit goes a long way. In this raid for example, I'm prepared. I know the attack patterns at the beginning of the battle so I know I need the insurance to dodge the charge attack that comes right after this meteor storm. So I prioritize charging my first skill right away. Good thing I was behind the tail of the monster when he did the charge attack which brings us to the second tip which is to plan your positioning carefully. Watch out for markers on the ground as it's the game's way of telling you where the monster's skills will hit. You'll see them as circles or squares that sort of charge up. The easiest way to avoid damage is by rolling out of the way, but if you want a more satisfying feel to the combat, do remember that your skills and dragon transformations have invincibility frames, but remember, Orange and red markers can be dodged while purple ones cannot. Which brings us to the last tip, which is, well, timing is everything. You might be tempted to just spam your skills right away. While this might work on lower level missions, this would be a bad idea on high level ones. Now remember what I told you back at the preparation part, that you need at least three skills before joining any high level raid? Well, that's because you would want to have at least two skills at the ready, just in case the boss decides to hit you with two consecutive skills. High level raid bosses often have lower interval between skills, so more skill uptime means more chances of evading attacks. Also important, only transform into a dragon if you have at least one skill up. This is so that in the unfortunate event your dragon form prematurely ends that you don't scramble to get a skill up because the boss suddenly decided to charge at your butt. If you'll notice my healer died because I sort of mistimed my dragon skill but fortunately that's the only casualty for my team. And that's it. Three tips and things that usually get overlooked by, even by veteran players and hopefully this will get you through the most uh, difficult battles in Dragalia Lost. Again, this is Mark, thank you for watching and see you next time. Take time to rest, my vassals.